Now, I want to mention the snow that's happening in the Dakotas <laughs> because some people actually like the snow. My son said he told me it was actually kind of utopian because he <laughs> wants to ski. It's a little too early for me, though. I would agree with that. A little early in my opinion, but hey, we as Minnesotans and Iowans embrace winter. We enjoy the whiteness of the snow. It does get kind of euphoric towards uh, totally. once it's finally there and you've settled in, but going from 60s to 40s today, ufta, that's just a big cold snap that we weren't quite ready for. Uh, looking at those temperature changes from the past 24 hours, we're about 25 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday here in the Med City. And a lot of folks right about that 20 to 30 degree range uh, throughout today's overall very bitterly cold conditions. And unfortunately, that wind not helping the situation at all. Right now, live look at our Lewis Donato camera from Signal Hill looking to the south. Things moving smoothly there on Highway 52, but really a good layer of cloud cover over the region. So unfortunately, no sunshine to help things at least feel a little bit warmer. Right now in Rochester, sitting at 35 degrees, cloudy skies, winds breezy out of the southwest around 21 miles per hour. Check out that feel like temperature, 24 degrees. Ooh, feeling really chilly out here across the region. Temperatures in the tri-state area, 37 degrees in Winona, 40 in Eau Claire, 39 in Austin, 36 in Albert Lee. And as we look towards Fairmont, 35 degrees, Prairie du Chien at 40 degrees. So overall chilly all across the region. Looking at wind speeds, this might be a culprit as to kind of adding to those cooler conditions. We're seeing those winds right now about 15 to 20 miles per hour. But check out these wind gusts. Most folks seeing those winds gusting towards about 25 miles an hour. Some areas up towards about 30. So definitely very breezy conditions. Time to tie down uh, those lawn ornaments that or anything that is just loose in the area that could fly around. Looking at wind chills, unfortunately, it's time to bring them back into into uh, the cycle here. We're seeing wind chills right now about 25 to 30 degrees. Checking out satellite and radar. Things are quiet here in the region. Overall, just dealing with a lot of cloud cover. We are seeing a few uh, remaining uh, showers, light rain showers and some snow showers kind of sneaking in there. Overall, not looking to see anything accumulate here for this evening, but maybe a few raindrops, a few snowflakes here and there. Overall, shouldn't be a big deal for tonight. In terms of future cast, remaining cloudy throughout the overnight hours. Starting off the clock then for your Saturday morning, we start the day on a dry note. We will see partly cloudy skies for the overnight hours. We will maybe manage just a little bit of some sunshine early in the morning. But as we head towards about the midday or so, seeing a chance for additional rain and snow showers to kind of sneak back into the region. Not looking to see anything accumulate in terms of snow totals, but maybe a little bit of some rain may be possible. But in terms of snow, Maybe a few sticking on some of those cooler areas of the grass, but overall uh, not looking to see anything accumulate snow wise. So we'll see that snow chance or that chance for a little bit of that mixture kind of last until about the midnight hours. So and then clearing out then for your Sunday. So Sunday while it will be less windy, slightly warmer, but we will be dry overall dealing with mainly cloudy skies. So for tonight, we do have a freeze warning in effect for the region. That will go in effect at 10 o'clock tonight, lasting until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's important to bring any of those plants that you want back indoors to stay alive. Bring them inside. We will see those temperatures ranging from about 28 to 30 degrees, 32 degrees overnight. So looking at tonight, then temperatures into the upper 20s, lower 30s. Overall looking to be the end of the growing season for tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures into the lower 40s with that chance of that rain-snow mixture with little accumulation possible. But in terms of that extended forecast, temperatures remaining cool and blustery through Sunday. It's a chance for some light showers possible on Tuesday, but otherwise warming up as we head towards the late week. Just got to deal with these extra, the need for extra layers here uh, for at least this weekend. And did you, you said you brought all your plants in yesterday? Yes. No, my mom and I actually brought her plants in before I came to work. So we spent about oh. an hour getting all those plants in the garage so they can stay alive for the winter. Oh, good. <laughs> yep, I have to do that tonight for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay.